What is going on, everybody? This is Jay Marvel, and we are back for um, episode three of Satisfactory. Um, real quick, I want to screenshot shot for the thumbnail. All right. Um, for the last episode, because uh, I haven't moved since the end of the last episode. Uh, you remember the end of last episode, I cut these machines off, and here's the end of the iron ore line. Uh, I went and grabbed something to drink. Actually, let me crack that open. And, um, looks like our plates are done over there. Um, we're just waiting on rods. Um, I left it going, uh, while I went and got a drink and a snack real quick. Um... Mainly for our concrete. Which now we have 211, 311, 331, um, plus whatever we have over in this one. Um, because we're going to need concrete. Um, we're going to need a lot of concrete. Um, I might start smaller than I typically do. Um, a, so that anybody that's new playing and following along uh, can follow along and doesn't have to worry about the sheer mass of what I build. Because usually I, like, build, I cover this whole thing. And that's my, my starter factory. But I think I'll start small this time and just plan on expanding it uh, in future episodes. Um, so, this is done. We'll actually put this... should be good we should be okay on plates should be we might so we're gonna disassemble these because we don't need take this one gotta be careful what's connected to what here okay so this we're done with now okay why is that cut that's odd. Ninety-nine percent certain that we did not have. Might be a little bit of a bug. Um, okay, so let's take this down. We'll take this down. Uh, is this done? Uh, we'll put those in. How many rods do we have? That's actually the. Um, yeah, we'll let that go. Um, okay. So, we're going to be using these two inputs, really. But, the problem with this starting area, for me, and become less of a problem because I found something that I like to do to make it tolerable for myself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my foundation, I think it's four meter one, I'm going to place it right here, put it on using R, it's on zoop now, I'm going to put it on vertical and build two. And then I'm going to, oh god. Fly jump. And I'm going to pull out my one meter foundation. going to keep it on vertical. I'm going to build up four. I'm aesthetic and I like so there's our corner pillar. I'm going to build right here a little platform where I put my Lookout tower. There's are gonna tear these down. And now I have where basically the height I'm gonna um I think I wanna go 
back. I think one is fine. Go back one. Okay, so take back everything I just said. I'm gonna take those down. This, oops. This is gonna be the. that down. Look out tower. DC. Hit it. Out. Get up. Um, we might be able to just ring in the future, but I'm trying to conserve uh, concrete. Okay, so then we're going to slide this all the way across. Uh, no, we're not. There we go. I want to go across. Let's just one to five. Be running in a five, six. Now I've lost count. Thing. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Back, no. I think there's a 10 by 10. Oh. So, easy way to do this. Pull out another lookout tower. One. I said uh, 10 by 10, I meant 9 by 10. And that's just because in the future we're going to need it to be bigger. So, and we're probably going to go even bigger than this. So, we're going to go. Just fill this in. So, I like to put corners at least uh, on these things, at least until I fill it in. I don't fill it completely in because that's a waste, of but I will yeah, just fall it on the ground eventually. Once I'm like resource, I don't have to like. Um, so yeah, we got enough to do that. So now I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to have that come. Okay, that's fine. You know what the problem is? Is I have it facing. Oh. Okay, bear with me. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause this. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through this. But I'm going to reorient this whole thing. Um, and I was wondering why it was looking weird than I normally tend to do it because I'm kind of I, I'm going with my norm because originally and it's worked very well. Uh, And so, um, when it was looking a little different, I was kind of, um, you notice I was able to delete more than one thing at once. If you hold down control while in this mode, everything you hover on orange, that's going to delete. Um, if you hover over, like if I was hovering over these and I wanted this, and I was like, oh, I don't want to delete this bottom one. You just hover over it um so it's it's if i look away it's still orange if i hover over it and press control just tap it and look away it's no longer orange enough so that's just how you get um so let's delete all this and we're going to start it and i will be right back pause it um what i will tell you is what i'm going to do is i didn't align it to the world grid by pressing control and that makes it go at a certain can't really rotate it if you notice it just kind of snaps to it and that's i didn't align it to the world grid kind of off that's why it, okay uh yeah i'll come back when it's built okay so i created a nine uh or eleven excuse me eleven by nine uh platform here 
Um, so probably it gave me room to extend back, basically. I can also push this way once it helped. Basically what I'm going to do, I think, and I think I gave myself enough clearance this way. What I might do is ramp up. You know what? I'm going to um, ramp up. Not with that ramp. Just past this one. Boom, boom. This is just to remind myself of the people. Um, I'm going to build up there, build a platform up there for the hub. Um, and the hub is going to be yeah, basically factory and then copper. Yeah. Um, so now we have our iron that we and we're going to bring those in and maximize their output. So um, we're going to go to our miner. Um, let's see. This is a flipping end of this, that, but whatever. Um, I want to give myself some space, um, but I don't want this to either. So we're going to go, I think, right here. Um, this is going to look awful at first. I think I'm going to wait until later to it. I might do that off camera or off uh, I'm not recording and then show it when I get back because that might be time consuming, but we'll see. But for now, we're just going to do this. Um, eventually, I think I might move this in like uh, and like who basically put basically put some foundations down going all the way out and get uh, a straight line. Um, I kind of want to have clearance for when I have a vehicle. So we'll see. Um, I might come up with something. This one, since we're going to have probably two smelters right in these two squares. Um, I'm going to bring this one over. Just have this kind of follow this here. And we'll just not gonna look pretty this area, but whatever. Um it's out there. Okay, so then we need two smelters uh for this X output. I'm gonna put them back a ways. I'm actually going to I'll leave two spaces here. I'm going to go here, uh go here and then I'm gonna skip a space and I'm gonna go and then that just gives us more get better miners. So then we're gonna put a splitter and it gives us room to like move things. So we'll put a splitter here, get an input going in. So now we have 60 uh iron ore coming up here and 60 is the max we can have on this belt and it's what we're putting up here. So it matches up put an output here. Now we have 30 coming out from the splitter and 30 coming here. And Put that 60 in half. Match the output put for 30 per minute on the iron here. And now we have, we're maximizing our smelting from that. Uh, miner. I, think. I was going to say drill. Um, we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to go here. And skip. Base. And you notice I'm not even really paying attention to where it's up at the front anymore because I have um, that green reference line and I'm holding control to keep it locked on there. So no matter where I move, it's either going to not snap on there or it's going to snap on there and then it's light up down that green line. So I just make sure it's lined up with that center tile. Um, and then we're going to, again, put down a splitter. And this does this sometimes, and I don't understand why. I think it's either a bug or I'm clicking something weird. It'll change my key bind. So I don't know what that is. But I've noticed it's been doing that. I've gotten update 8. But um, 60 going in there, 30 coming out here. And Um, so yeah, perfect. So now we have 120 iron ingots. Now I want to make sure this is all wired up. And what I'm going to do, since our power grid is over here on this side of our factory, I'm going to put down what I'm going to do first. Got a powerful here. And then 
up to the edge. But my basically my input for this factory right here. So I'm ready to hook everything up and get things going. I'm gonna connect this line to this post. There's powering this up. I just want to make sure I was right. Okay. Powering this up. Do that a lot. Good. Okay, so I'm just double checking, make sure everything's connected. Looks like it. All this stuff is selected for iron ingots. Perfect. Okay. So now. Structures. We have enough for two. We have 30 coming out here. I'm going to set this to plates. Get in it. So we're straight across. We have 30 coming out, 30 going in. That's perfect. Do the same thing here. Oh, 30 going in. Actually, This is like step one of the factory. This factory is going to evolve. Um, my plan, kind of been thinking about it uh, between uh, episodes. Power, so that's why I back up. So function, which eat. Um, my plan is, is this will be. This factory right here is going to be dedicated to iron. Um, it'll be like probably like the earliest tier one recipe we get going. And then there's a couple iron right over here on the side we saw earlier. I think you can see right there. Top of it. Yep. Impure, so it's 30. Um Gets per. It's our, it's our plates. Um, now that may not seem like great, but that's uh, sixty. But if we do uh, rotors over there, not rotors, screws. You do screws over there. I think screws and. Whatever screws and rods make, uh, it might be. I don't know, but we're gonna have a factory over there, specifically for. Uh, sir, I think it's gonna be screws. But yeah, it's gonna be screws because this is gonna supply the plates, for the. Uh, um, this will be completely plates eventually, because we only produce twenty plates per minute out of thirty. So yeah, it's gonna eventually end up that because it's, it will be screws. Um, okay, anyways, sorry. So this is producing 30 ingots per minute. We need eight constructors, or four constructors, so we need eight. Reinforced iron plate. Now, it's gonna be a little tight. Um, space um, because we're cramming a few things in. Um, one thing we can do uh, which actually might work actually push it I'm just going to keep it in line so we'll go one there, there. Go ahead and just connect power so I don't have to hop over uh, conveyor belts. I'm also going to selecting uh, 
So those are all connected. Iron rods. Rods. Iron rods. Rods. So... Start here. Splitter. We have to do this a ways back because we have that pole, so we want to try to run. Out here. Come in here and then same thing right here. Okay. Oop. There. Out. The other method this time. Oh. Mouse wheel. Up. And throw that. Okay. So we have 30 iron ingots coming out. This one, okay, it's split 15 and 15. 30 coming out, 15, 15, make it 15. So we've got 60 rods coming. Should be enough. Here's what I want to do. I put a container. Merger. I like to, if I can, put merger in a like a very central location where it's like on the center block in on like the middle of a four-way intersection like it works out that way i like it because it looks at least just to me then we'll come out with this so then we're going to have uh 30 rods filling up that container so we'll have rods when we need these, however, I need got to look at this to see how this is. I think this is it. Yeah. Okay. So then we fire good. Here. In line with that one, we're gonna put this one here. Verger down. that up but I here here we have 40 plates all connected all right yep, yep. Okay. last thing Once we get this set up, we'll have our iron plates, rods, and screws all automated. And uh, it'll be build the MAM, and hopefully by the time we build the MAM and kind of stuff hang out, maybe go get some more stuff, we'll have part received. Probably start looking at 
So starting another factory. We can start uh, automating uh, reinforced iron plates, which is our kind of our first big, I guess, big one. I, I say big one because it's like your first one that takes multiple manufactured parts, I guess. Um, you're not just like taking ironing, like iron uh, rods. Oh, I hate this. Okay. So let's build out last bit factory and then we get up to power and lock in the so we got 30 between these two coming out. So we're gonna merge that together. Table. Craft some cable. Um so this is gonna be a quick switch. So we're gonna basically merge and then immediately split. Um, and by merging them, we bring them together to make a make them into a, a thirty or a, basically a belt of thirty, um, and then there's like two ways to do it. There's a long way and the short way. So the short way is what we're doing. So we're merging them to a belt of thirty. So when they hit this splitter, you have them coming in per minute. And we split them out again. This time, instead of two making 15, we add a third. Three, ten. So take in 10 iron rods per minute and give us four screws. Now, the other way to do it, which is, I guess, a different way to do it, is you we have 15 coming out, 15 coming out. What you could do is you could. I suppose split each one three ways and like your yeah this was splitter behind that one you have five going out five going out five going out next splitter would have five going out five going out five going out the other ends would match up go into this one with ten the two one facing each other would go in together on a merger to go into this one and then you left the outside ones if that makes sense, go in, and merge back together, and go. So that's the long way to do it with more splitters and merge. You just merge them at the beginning, make thirty, split them off, make, and then make sure it's powered. He is pretty because we. Oh no, we gave ourselves room. I like the thing like oh, like. When I first started playing the game, I definitely did not realize the scale and in which I would have to build. I was building things way too small and I was super crammed for space. Make yourself have room. Um, it may even feel like you're giving yourself too much room, and I even gave myself, like, I did not give myself a compact line. But I know for me, I'm going to be tearing this down. Um. Not too long, so not tearing it down, but basically this will just be a smelting core, and everything else will be on it. But I've got a few, especially while this is going, basically at the max potential it has right now. Okay, well that's fine. We've reached a spot where we can let this go. Um, it's fine if these back up because they're going to back up anyways. But they're producing forty screws per minute. These on these belts only can carry one hundred and or only carry 60 screws, 60 per minute. So, um, there's 120 coming out of those three constructors. I wouldn't be able to carry them all anyways. It's gonna get backed up immediately. So not too concerned. I'm gonna run a power line down here. That, here. Down here. 
like that. I'm gonna jump down here. Done. Well, we could probably actually, now that I tore that stuff up down there, At least these two. Uh, no, they're all connected. Okay, so now they can offload screws in here. It'll be at a slow rate, but whatever. Um, I wanted to check one more thing. Power's fine over here. So we got going the power. So I have power connection. If I hook that up, that's gonna go there, there, there. That's connected, so that's going. Right. This is connected to. Let's get rid of all these power poles. Except for these ones. These ones are gonna. Be... Alright, can't get there. That's what's powering that is that. Got it. Uh, have one. Don't need. This is what I said earlier. I knew this was going to be the main, eventually. Um. Dead. Power pulse straight down like that. And just. I could use my. Okay. Cool. Well, now that this is all going, we're going to just kind of watch for a minute and make sure that it all kind of works. Um, or it should be. I don't know. It's been a minute. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and give us the uh, W on this one. Should all work. Let's make it. So, that 60 is coming in. It's splitting off nicely. And same with that side. Means we should all start producing ironing. Oh. Yep, that's going. I see that one go. Okay. Up up here. Weight's coming out. These one. Rod's coming out from this one. There I see rods going. I see. Green. Power consumption. 190 capacity. We're max consumption is 100. Still looking good. That screw's coming out. Perfect. We are running uh, fully automated. Uh, everything is should be running at 100% efficiency. 100%. Everything should, for the most part, except for, eventually, these are going to slow down. And that's because this is going to stockpile up as you can see. And eventually they're not going to be able to output fast enough, and then they're going to get bogged down. But once this full stack of 500 is, uh, it's going to have to wait for these to be able to get transported in. Um, and that's just gonna have to wait until we unlock uh, the Mark II conveyor belt, uh, which can handle all of those. Um, but basically, yeah, we are 100% uh, 
uh, automated for our factory. Uh, yeah, we did it. Iron plates, iron rods, iron uh, screws, all just going to be pumping out in the background. Check our fuel consumptions. We're about at 50%. Whatever we fuel over here. Oh. Um, okay, so the next thing was build the map. Um, and this is actually going to work out perfectly because I think that's about 45 minutes. Okay, this might actually take a little bit. Now that we have a little bit of time. So, how much concrete do I have? 61. Do you have much concrete? I might have to throw down another concrete production. Yeah, uh, if these were operating at with a normal um, levels, then I would probably be okay, but because they're both. Plus, I mean, limestone's just a little slow. I mean, 71. Okay. Uh, my plan is to build up this little uh, spot for the hub and then the hub. And then put the man with the hub. Um, so, what we're going to do, let's see, is this up high enough? Can I put down. Yeah, I'm going to have. gonna have obstruction of um, trees and that's gonna be after we do this part assembly um, milestone I think the next milestone is going to be the chainsaw the obstacle appearance or whatever we're gonna build this out I don't know how wide I need to make it. I think seven would be. Yeah, let's go seven more. Build it back. Go seven by five. Do it. Up. up. I'm curious if I call this in, it's gonna be all bugged out again. That's the front. Uh, then this can be I have uh, plans for other things so let's go smack dab in the middle I'm not even gonna use I absolutely um, so let's put everything back that needs to go back in here ma'am um so ma'am I'm gonna put the ma'am with iron plates I'm gonna put the ma'am over here. Nice one. So let's put the ma'am like right here. Uh, I'm thinking about it here. Equipment workshop. Our thing right here. So now we have our ma'am. So the ma'am is going to, if I can, put a nice little purse storage box right here. Anything that has to do with the ma'am. So if we look at our personal storage box here, uh, for the ma'am, we're going to need those. We're going to need that. We're going to need that. that we're gonna need that. Um, well, you know what? We'll hold on to it now because we're going to win. Alien organism. So this is like a research tree. We're going to start research because we have three of the one needed. Got research complete, so that gave us the ability to make alien protein. But now we also have spitters, so that to make spitter protein. So now we need to make we need five alien proteins to be able to make these bioorganic properties. 
uh, nutrients. Uh, we need two berries. We do have two berries. Let's go ahead and start that research. Five of the barrel nuts. And once we can make those things, we can make, uh, which is uh, modular frames and the uh, steel pipes, uh, we can get new processors. That'll unlock that node. Um, this allows them to be scannable. So uh, now I can scan for berries with the scanner. I have a power slug. Do that. We need one. We get the ability to make power shards with other power slugs. Um, if we get one power shard, 50 plates, and 50 wire, we can overclock. So then we can go over and we can make uh, some of our factory buildings at a higher rate. So we'll, we'll play with that, uh, especially with the, you know what? Two more slugs. slugs. Um, maybe that's something we can throw on us to do next is the slug over. Throw those in there because we'll need those later. So that's really all we can do with the MAM for now. Um, yeah, we have our little. Once we have the again obstacle clearance, I'm going to get rid of. It. Same with that tree. So let's check. Let's see if we've got our 500 screws. We definitely can go get enough. Some more wire to make. We definitely have enough. Yes, okay. Uh, we definitely have enough. Okay. I don't have enough plates. Uh, we definitely need 100 plates. But rods, rods. Oh, we're well. Rods. Okay. Um. So really, we just need plates. Um. I guarantee you. We've got enough to make. I think too. That's gonna be a, a next episode thing. Is, um. Especially now that we've got pretty much that whole area, except for we have another, um iron ore node to, to basically tap into but that's just an yeah i think that's just that's gonna be plates so um i mean yeah we have that all i mean we have the ability to make factories relatively quickly and easily uh especially if i just kind of between streams let this go for a while and let um Concrete and iron plates uh, accumulate. Um, basically, I have enough to just lay down foundation, start up a factory. So, I think the next episode will be laying down foundations up here and getting concrete or uh, copper uh, a little bit more efficient, and um, being able to produce wires and cables. So that way, we are basically producing the basics of everything for basic factory setup wires cables pods screw all the stuff that's needed uh let's check on our plates making 40 per minute 300 we're at 265 so let's pop down a craft bench and let's just while we're waiting produce the rest of these cables um while this is going, we're going to mark off build ma'am. Did that. And then our last one will be complete milestone, which is what we're working on right now by waiting for those plates to continue. And then I will we'll send the rocket off uh, or the shuttle off. Let's give it a nice salute goodbye. And then next uh, episode, we will... Uh, I will probably come up with a plan for the next episode off stream um, and then let this just sit for a while, like I said, and let these kind of like let these plates build up for a little bit. There we go. Um, let the uh, concrete build up for a little bit so that way you have enough to go up to the copper, get copper maximi or maximum efficiency for what we've got up there. And then really it'll be starting to work on this factory, I think. I think before we start working on this factory and getting it straight plates, I think I might build my second factory over there for rods. 
And then I'll have rod factory, plate factory, rods, eventually rods or rods and screws, plates, and then these plates would go off and meet with these rods somewhere over here or with the screws over here, make reinforced iron plates. And then, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. We should be able to send this thing off 200, 200, 300. 500 we do all right launch that pod milestone reach more complex assembly of parts can now be automated project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator uh, you notice um real quick while we're wrapping up here you notice up here in our objective tab that is build the space elevator um, that is our overall goal for part one. Because if you look, after tier two, we're marked, we're, we're, we're locked out until we complete space elevator phase one. Um, and then once we complete that, then we'll have access to more tiers until phase three. So these will all assist us to getting to this. So we're getting through these to get to this. Cool thing next is an obstacle clearing is next on our list, which we another 500 screws. Another 100 cable and 100 concrete, which is pretty close. So, um, cool. I'm going to uh, all that there. Uh, I believe we are good to go. Let's go ahead and get up onto our post up here. Um, so, again, to recap uh, this episode, uh, which I'm going to quick while we're doing this, um, we basically set up a uh, fully efficient uh well not fully because this is already slowed down um for the most part fully efficient uh until we get better belts um and what you could do too is if i had more room is i could split that middle one and 20 and have two belts of 60 feeding two things but um basic iron stuff so iron rods iron plates screws we um basically yeah set up that whole factory we got the mam uh set up so and we got so a few steps of the mam taken care of we moved our base uh from down below up here um and that is pretty much it we completed our milestone for the assembler so now we will be able to uh use the assembler to um, make some of our more complex. All right, guys. So I will come up with the list for the next episode. I think it's going to come up with something along the lines of setting up a second factory and a copper factory. Um, tune in next time. And uh, we will see you on episode three. Good day. Bye.